Okay, my name is Mira, and and my name is Navia. We both go to school on Earth. So, I'd like to point out that this program is for our physical course that we've also created. So that's what it works for. So the first part of it is a play button that enables everything to start. It says go. And then we have a sound button that plays a file with a high volume that says it's actually an 87 volume. And the sound we play is So that's actually what we chose to play. Next we have a move steering button which enables it to go on for seconds at this part. Then we have the power at 15 and the seconds at 5.38, so that's how long it will go. And then it will break at the end because it says true, we know it will. Next we have move tank, which shows that the power on the left is actually at zero, so the power on the right is at 35, so we know it will favor the right. And then we have seconds because it's also on for seconds, and it's at on for 0 0.97 seconds. Then we have a follow the black line block, which is right here, and it starts, and as you can see, there's another play button, obviously, so that shows that it'll go. We have a switch, and it's a color sensor, so we know that's what we're using, and it's comparing reflected light intensity. So it's comparing, if it's four, per if it's 15%, and over, if it's over 50%, 15%, then, and then the motor turns. Then the motor turns to and tries to find up here. It goes and it tries to find the black line on the one side of the robot. This part shows if it is less than 15. So if we exit out of that, we go up here and we found that set. Now we have a weight block. That tells us that we have it on for time. So that means that for one second, it's just going to stop and wait. Then we have the weight, but it's an ultrasonic sensor, and it's comparing distance of centimeters. So it's comparing type 4, and it's 8%. So then we're going to have it here, and it says port 4, so that's the port we're using. Next, we have a move steering. We have a move steering, and it's on for 90 degrees, so it's on for degrees, and you can see it says 90 there. So here it's on for 90 degrees. And then the power is at 50, so it's about halfway from 100. And then, of course, it's the steering. So next, we have this. So if you look here at our my block that we had, it's almost the same thing. But this is on for 30 seconds. And if you look over here, this is on for 6. I mean, this is and this is on for 12. So you can see that it's the same thing with just one different part. Then we have one more right here. We have another follow the, the black line. And it's in a loop, so it will keep going until it's been 14 seconds. That's the point of this. So that's why we would do that. With It's also on for 12. Next, we have here the 12th power again, but it's on for 5 seconds. As, as you can see, it says BC here and CB here, which means that because of the turn, we want it to change because it is taking a turn to the other direction, and we want it to look for the black line on that direction that the machine is making. That's why we have the port switch. And as you can see, actually, over here, this is the same, that's what it always was. We actually switched the ports here. So that would be our whole program to get it through our obstacle course from start to finish.